So we're back with the Nepic Golf Day and we're on the 10th tee of the hunting course and the first player is about to drive, aiming right down the middle of the fairway, looking very promising and a very fine starting position indeed. Let's see what happens here. Deep in thought there. Right. Wow, look where that club is at the top of the backswing there. Um, something else going on there we need to have a look at. Just watch this. If whether you're aware of it or not. I'm sure you are, but there's a significant loss of height there. So watch this again. I'd say because you lose your height, this is where the arms tend to overdo the job in the backswing. Sorry, just trying to get control of the video. So there's the head going forward and down. There's the overextended backswing position at the top of the backswing. You can see there, you know, you've lost probably somewhere in the region of four inches of your height up, to, up until that point there. Now again, I'm just looking here where, here's the club head here, tacking from the inside path here. It looks as if the ball wants to start out to the right there. And it would do, um, dependent, of course, on how you deliver the hands. Let's see what goes on through the ball. There's the ball leaving the club face. And there's the, well, we can't quite see clearly, but clearly there's a lot of rotation on the wrist going on there to help you square it off. Some good looking moves, actually. Good looking moves, but clearly there we've seen a couple of issues. Position at the top of the backswing, which I think is caused because the head is losing height and tipping forwards. So you want to have a look at that and see whether you can start improving that to just stabilise things. Good luck with that. Second player with his own, his own unique teeing system. Very good. All tied up together. Um, taking aim to the left of the fairway. Uh, presumably you're a fader, sir. Let's see what's happening. Top of the back swing, not too bad. Hmm. Interesting. It's a bit of a sort of um I don't know how to quite describe this. Um it's a bit of a sort of a looking at that position there, you can probably tell that the hands are well forward. The club is actually on the inside, the hands above the plane, um, and with you aiming left, what you do is you just, you know, those hands lead and just kind of block the club face, so the ball should go sort of leftish, maybe a little bit cutty, um, and hopefully down the fairway. So your own unique style there stays on that back foot a little bit as well. Would like to see a little bit more weight transfer there. Um, <clears throat> So I don't know if you want to tamper with that or not, but certainly I think the combination works quite well of uh, knowing how you appear to be delivering the club with your, with the hands leading. I think it's really quite good to sort of stay quite open. It's a bit sort of Trevino-esque without the shifting in the planes quite so much. 
it can be quite effective. I'm sure you can play some good golf from there. Um, I don't really want to change that unless you really felt it was uh, really important. Hope you went on and have a good day. Third member of the group going with an iron. Well, very conservative play up the hill, unless, of course, there are other issues. Send starting position is pretty good, aiming nicely down the middle of the fairway. Watch your head in the circle here, please. So quite a lot of lifting going on, as you can see. Um, no, we want to keep the head relatively still, uh, but that is that's quite a lift. It's tending to suggest to me that you would be better off... Um, moving in a little bit closer to the ball, um, standing up, using a little bit more of your height, maybe a little bit too much spine angle through there. And when you get this sort of situation, it's very, very easy, um, or very common, I should say, for the body to, to want to stand up because it feels... Well, it's just not able to sustain that position as you start to put on the power. So you can see there, I mean, from the head being in the centre of the circle, that's probably lifted somewhere close to six, seven inches. Um, problem now is that you're dealing with trying to get back down to the ball, and uh, because you're now higher than you were at the top of the backswing, the angle that you attack the, the ball on is really is quite steep, and that might explain why you're possibly shying away from the woods there. Um, you know, so even there at impact, you could probably still see you haven't quite got back down to where you started. So, um, other than that, I mean, there's there's some, it's got some nice moves about it, but definitely at the heart there, we've got to start keeping your level um, whilst you swing. The way to do that for me is definitely standing closer to the ball, uh, using more of your height. Um, and then I think things can start to happen from there. You probably need some help with it as well, so you could see a good coach. I'm not quite sure where you're from, but could certainly help. Nice looking starting position here. Uh, going with driver down in the middle of the fairway, I hope. Looking at the path there, you know, really moving quite a lot on the inside. Ooh, now we're getting a big loop developing here. Woohoo! Hey, it's not too bad now. Not too bad, but still I'd be concerned about that. You can see how the club really wraps around your body. So, for me, we've got to get this club head moving a little closer to moving more up that sort of line. That's the sort of sort of path you're looking for. A nice curve there, instead of really getting it wrapping round and behind you. And forcing it to loop back over the top. So definitely more elevation on the arms. 
uh, much higher hand and arm position at the top of the backswing will just give you a little bit more space to work with and uh, would be a lot more effective, I'm sure. Hope you went on and have a good day. Uh, see you again sometime.